Today we are taking a look at the NECA exclusive Ultimate Jason. Another thing that we are going to be taking a look at later in this video. Is something custom. Now this is not the mask that he originally was wearing. I'm going to just flip that on real quick. That's the mask that he's normally wearing. But the first thing we're going to look at are his accessories. And you do get quite a few with Jason here. First we're going to take a look at the various masks. You get this scratched up one and the, scra and the straps are just made of a flexible plastic the masks are pretty durable as well you get the blood soaked mask that he has at the end of the film you get two machetes one clean and one bloody you get a teddy which Jason here can hold in theory See he's holding the teddy you know, I don't remember where this fits into the movie at all. You also get a flame effect part, which you can take on any one of the machetes and just kind of slip it on there. Just like that. And you can replicate that famous scene. And if you're wondering, it does also fit on the, oh fuck me, it does also fit on the bloody machete. Now, let's take a look at Jason here. And his, first of all, let's take a look at the figure. One thing I don't like about this version of Jason are the boots. He's got like Frankenstein style boots. If they could have just gotten Kane Hodder to play Jason, I mean, it would have been so much better. But the amount of detail that they go into on this figure is absolutely incredible. The jacket here is just made of a flexible plastic same with the undershirt now let's look at how the accessories fit onto Jason here the handle of the machete will just pop into his hand And he's ready to kill some people.
no, I guess it's time to look at the various masks on the on the figure. This is this is the part I do not like at all. It makes him look fucking retarded. I mean, in the film, we only see about this. Like, fuck, we didn't see the rest of it because he is one ugly son of a bitch. But you can see how the different masks go onto the figure here. I really like this one. I really like that one there. You can take the blood soaked mask. It is a little bit of a pain to get Jason to stand up, but once you get him standing, It's okay. Like, this mask looks really cool. But, one thing that would have made this figure incredible is if, like, say the jacket or the shirt, you take some dry brush and some red on there, you put some red on there, oof, that would look fucking spicy. But now it really fits. So I gotta give him his bloody machete. It just looks so cool. We're gonna put him back in the mask that I like for the rest of the review. Hopefully that's not a problem. But one thing I never understood about this Jason is why he looks so fucking homeless. Here's one flaw I do have with the figure though. His leg is uh, very wobbly. We're gonna get on to articulation now. Now instead of having a ball joint at the head, which I would have preferred, he only has a ball joint. Actually, not even a bone joint, a swivel at the neck. What the fuck kind of engineering is that shit? I love how on camera you can't see his eyes in the in the mask. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. His arm can do a full 360. So it goes out. <laughs> Got tight fucking hinge joint here. Wrist swivel. Other arm can do a full 360. Fucking focus. Another real tight fucking hinge joint. Another wrist swivel. He's got a waist swivel. Thank fuck, he's got a waist swivel. Leg can go forward that far and go back that far. Now he has absolutely no spread. Bend at the knee. One thing I do love about the figure is his joints are all nice and tight. Except everything on the left side of his body. And he's got boot swivel and his foot can go up and down so getting him to stand oh well now that the camera's on it's not gonna be a nightmare but when he was off camera it was a fucking nightmare to get him standing up but look at how cool he looks Like, he looks so cool, and I really like this, that you can open the jacket. Make sure to just be careful not to pull it out too far. As you can see, I've already kind of started ungluing the, and it does go all the way around. 
His undershirt as well is that flexible plastic. Now all I need is the Freddy figure. Now I did promise that we'd take a look at something of my own. This is my very, this is my custom Freddy vs. Jason battle mask. So, look at this. Then look at this. I know I burnt this, but... Yeah, we're gonna put that back on you, because you're gonna give me fucking nightmares if I, if I don't. I got I to gotta give him his machete. You can't have Jason without a machete. Like, it just isn't a... Th He's got your typical posability of a Barbie. Like, but this $20 mask is from... Well, you can get this at, like, fucking Walmart or whatever. I might just sell this as merch. Make a bunch of duplicates of that and sell it as merch. So, stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like. We're going to bring Jason just a little closer for the outro here. Oh, like he looks so cool. Like you can't deny that he does not look cool. You can't quite get him to hold his machete with two hands, so you can't reenact my favorite scene in the movie. But he can hold his machete above his head. Which is where the flame effect part would come into play. Because it's that scene in the field where his machete... Well, where he's on fire. I wish it would have came with, like, an effect part of his whole body on fire, right? How cool would that shit be? And we're going to have him holding his teddy. One th oh, I, I got to show you the teddy. He's got little squish marks where Jason would be holding him. Now, the detail on the teddy. Like how he's got the little stuffings coming out. It's a soft kind of plastic, so it feels like a plastic teddy bear. Jason, fucking stand up. I just love the detail on these masks, like... I apologize. Fucking Jason, hold your teddy. He does have quite the hard time holding the teddy. As you're fucking noticing. And getting him to stand up, as you're now noticing, is a fucking nightmare. Now I'm just gonna do this while I change his mask. That is the end of this review for NECA Jason. Leave a like if you want me to get the Freddy figure of, like, the NECA Freddy figure as well. As I will probably do that. As they do come, if you wanted to do it, they do come in a set together. So if you really wanted to, you could get them in theory. No, it, no, you can't have the bloody mask without the bloody machete. Oh my god, it's... Due to his left leg being really loose, it makes it 
that much harder for him to stand up. Now that's it for this review, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like. Or if you didn't like it, give me a dislike. I mean, but like if you want to see more reviews like this of like separate series of figures instead of just, you know, Transformers figures. Well, I never did no size comparison. I never did no size comparison. We're going to do some size comparisons of with Jason here. We're just going to move all of the accessories out of the way. Put his arm down. Change his mask. And here he is with Studio Series Grim Lock, which, fuck, review coming soon. I just got a fuck ton of these figures, so here he is with Studio Series Optimus Prime. With Studio Series Battle Ready Bumblebee, which little midget that guy. And this, this is something I know y'all are gonna like. And here he is with the 3 0 Diecast Optimus Prime. I waited so long to get this. Studio Series Last Night Mega Drunk by Jason Mask. Mm -hmm. And DMK01. Just like Jason, he's a nightmare to stand up. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Sorry for the pose he's in. Nah, he's just going to stay chilled right in the back here. Same with you. You could stay in the back, too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, Studio Series Shatter. So Jason's taller than Shatter. And here he is with little Igor. My new favorite studio series figure, Dark of the Moon Megatron. And that's pretty much it for this review. Hopefully you guys liked it. And I know I'm going to be posting this after Remembrance Day, but happy Remembrance Day. Jason, you can just... Fuck. Hopefully you all wore your poppies today. If you didn't, well, shit. I am currently recording this at 1 in the morning. And I'll see you guys next time.